Hello and welcome back to the My Menagerie channel and today I'll be reviewing the brand new Monster High Core Refresh Laguna Blue doll. I was able to get this doll early on Paul's Mart's website uh, where she shipped out like two days after I ordered her. She was available for pre-order for about a day on Amazon. Uh, those orders have not shipped yet um, as of now. She may or may not be showing up in Walmart's. I believe I've seen Core Refresh Frankie and Core Refresh Cleo um, in some pictures people have posted. But yeah, I got mine through Paul's Mart. And I'm going to start off by saying that I prefer all of the Core Refreshes to their original dolls. Except Frankie's. I think both of theirs are equal. So here on the back of the box, it says Laguna Blue, Boofily Bubbly Sea Monster, Monster Must Haves, Sparkling Salt Water, Fish Ice Cream, and Monster Pet Neptuna. And we have like Mattel information on the bottom, and this doll was actually made in Indonesia. Um, here's the barcode in case you want to go and check Walmart for her. I believe these should have like a full wide release in May, towards the end of May. I believe, I think the 25th is what Amazon said, but I'm going to go ahead and open her up. Here she is out of the box and I ended up washing her hair. It is Saran, so that's really nice. This refresh Laguna kind of drops the sporty look to her, she's kind of a little more artsy looking especially with like the bottom of her pants i love how her hair texture completely changed after washing it it's super soft now uh, before it was a little crunchy but it was still brushable but washing it definitely made it like really soft so she's got this new shirt it's very similar to the hoodie that she wears in her first version except it's like a bony fish instead of a seahorse and she's got this really long belt that where the belt buckle is like a clam and there's some like pearls there too uh, matching her like sea monster design obviously and then her pants are definitely the most interesting piece uh, the top part is like a cargo short and then the legging part is kind of like of a, a cinema print tight pant but it's also a bit opaque or translucent um just like her legs which are like a gradient too and then she's got this like opaque jellyfish looking shoe which is really nice i i love how sea creaturey this laguna is it really works with this outfit even her orange sunglasses which i believe have little tentacles on them i just love how much they're leaning into that ocean aesthetic for her now we can move on to her accessories which her pet neptuna has a new mold it looks like she is diving i guess and her eyes are closed and her cheeks are a little puffed out it's really cute but i think i prefer the first version um she comes with a bag of gummy bites which are like gummy worms i guess uh, her G1 diary covered in G3 stickers. These waters are so still, are as still as a pond. Um, kind of like teasing us that we don't get, actually get diaries with these new G3 dolls, but okay. And then a can of a drink, bubble booze, booze and booze. Should a high schooler be drinking booze? Probably not. And then she comes with this fish ice cream. This is like exactly like the Somi Somi ice creams. I'll put a picture of what they look like in real life, but this is literally just that. And then she's got a pencil with a little puffer fish on it, which reminds me of like those pencil toppers, like squinkies, um, that we would put on our pencils. There's one more accessory, the backpack. I just misplaced it. Um, I'll find it in a second. Uh, here it is. The Jellyfish Backpack. This is definitely my favorite G3 backpack. 
Um, it looks really cool, and I really want it in real life. Um, she's this actually has a face on it, which is interesting. Um, you can open it up. You can't actually put Neptuna in there, which is kind of sad. I love the like f fringe that's supposed to be like the tentacles of it. Overall, I just love that backpack. And that's about it for the review. Um, I would highly recommend this doll. I love most of G3's releases. And this one is just really, really good. And then she's got, oh, she's got like bonefish uh, earrings too, which I forgot to mention. But that's all I have to say for her. Next is Frankie. In the Discord community, I have all the links for every upcoming Monster High release, G1 and G3, and I can notify you once they drop, so you don't have to miss out on any future releases.